So, okay, so how did this all come to be? So, so my my grandparents were the ones that uh, started this uh, this tree farm more than 50 years ago, and they were the ones that had the vision to make sure that it was uh, co-owned by uh, succeeding generations. So, we're co-owners with my siblings, with cousins. with my cousins. Mm with my uh, nieces and nephews now. And uh, it's unusual that there would be a, a tree farm that would be as old as this and that would be uh, working to make sure that um, it was recreational, that it was for the, for the common good, but also for the, for the merchantable timber that would come from it. And so uh, it's delightful for me and Marianne to have a chance to uh, welcome our, our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews to come here uh, to walk through the woods. To and they stay at the farmhouse. Well, what about this one, this particular one? Well, the fun, <laughs> the fun thing about this was that um, we were inspired to um, plant some black walnuts uh, that has uh, um, a market value to it but that if they were just growing out in the field they would be full of branches and they wouldn't have straight stems so we got the idea of interplanting them with the balsams um, so that the balsams would force the, the black walnuts to grow straight up without a lot of branches but what happened was that uh, because we're at the northern edge of the of the temperate zone that uh, black walnuts thrive in some of them succumbed and the balsams thrived <laughs> and grew and grew and grew so here's an example of a couple these three did pretty well these three yeah um, black walnuts but they didn't get much bigger than that it they really Glenn planted them for his great grandchildren oh. I think Right. Len and my and our daughter Megan. How many years ago, Len? So, so uh, our daughter Megan, uh, who's now 46 years old, <laughs> helped me plant them 30 years ago oh. when she was still a high school student here in this area. And they were about this tall. <laughs> and uh, and so now here is an opportunity for us to bring some light and love to the the people of New England that have a chance to see these trees and we hope that the family appreciates the fact that um, this is part of what stewardship is all about.